What's up everybody? Welcome to your second tutorial in CSS. Today we're going to be discussing the basic syntax or structure of CSS. Now what CSS is, is just a bunch of rules that tell your website what it's supposed to look like. There are three parts to every rule. The first part is called the selector. And what the selector does is tell the web page what elements the CSS is going to be applied to. And in this example, it's going to be applied to the body element. And you have a declaration property. And this is what property CSS is going to change. And you have the declaration value. So the value of this that it's going to change to is blue. So as you see, we're changing the body color, the text color, and we're going to change it to blue. Now, to make a CSS rule, you use this format. You simply just type whatever selector you're using, enter a curly brace, then you enter your declaration property. In this instance, we'll use color. And then you enter a colon. And then directly after the colon, you insert the declaration value. And we will use blue. So again, selector outside, and this whole thing is called your declaration that has the property and the value, just like XHTML. Now as you know, CSS is in an entirely different language. It's actually used in conjunction with XHTML, as you can see right here, to format a website. So where do you put all these rules? Well, all of the rules are going to go right in your head section, and they're going to go in between style tags. Now, these are just like basic XHTML tags with your opening style and your basic ending style tag. But there's one attribute that you need to add to your opening tag, and that's called the type attribute. To do this, simply add an attribute called type and then set it equal to type excuse me text slash CSS and then close it so again you have your opening style tag and its type is always going to be text slash CSS when you're working with CSS so again those go in between the style tags which are in between your head tags and right here is where you're going to be typing all of your rules. So, as you can see, if we go ahead and save this, we launch it in Internet Explorer. As you can see, our body text has now changed to blue. So, say we wanted to add another rule. Say we wanted to change the body's background color. Again, we would type body. And our curly brace, type background color, and this is the declaration property, and the value will set it equal to red. Then you simply just end it. So now we have a style where it changes the text color to blue, and we have a body rule that changes the background color to red. So if we save this, and take a look at what it'll look like in Internet Explorer. As you can see, we now have our background color red and our text is blue. So now that we learned the basic syntax of CSS, in the next we're going to be grouping selectors and learning how to group declarations. And we're also going to be learning how to include CSS in our document in some other ways. Again, if you want a review of this tutorial, you can go to my website, thenewboston.com, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step instruction on everything I went over today. Thanks.